Bushcraft 412 and a knife review. I finally shelled out and got another knife. It's been a while and I got the itch. I was at the store and uh, I was doing my uh, contest and you know I was kind of just kind of sitting there sad and thinking oh, I haven't bought a knife in a while so I decided to buy myself a knife. I bought you guys a couple things. I figure I could splurge and buy myself a little something something. So what we have here is the Camillus Les Stroud SK Arctic. Um, what can I say? Camillus, um, for quite a few years, probably about five years, I actually lived just down the road from the Camillus factory. It was a real heartbreaker to see them go under. Uh, their name got bought out by a Chinese company that's now making uh, blades for them. And of course, this is, you know, one of those that is made by that company using the Camillus name. Um, from the looks of it, from what I see, they're making pretty good products. It's not you know garbage it seems to be pretty decent but you know I've, I've avoided Camillus for the last couple of years because of that kind of heartbreak because they were you know they were the local business they were big and everyone loved them and you know it was a, it was a big thing around here in New York and it was really a, a sad thing when they went under so I've avoided them but now I really wanted to get this knife you know I was really uh, I really liked the Survivor Man series back when he did it and you know I just impulse buy I wanted the knife I know it's probably not the best on the market but screw it I wanted to do it I do what I want so let's get into this review here guys uh, this knife is the blade on this I believe is a little over four inches I don't think it actually says on the box I'm gonna look real quick and it does not but the blade is around four maybe four and a half inches it comes with a uh, nylon sheath which is kind of a hardened uh, says ballistic nylon you know I wouldn't really qualify it as ballistic let's pull this out of the sheet well, we'll look at the sheet a little more first there's a little uh, mesh I won't be able to see this it'll probably be a little dark but there is a little mesh pocket in the back for it says for maps there ain't no map that's gonna fit in there but you could definitely fit some water purification tablets or some doohickeys in there pretty good liberal belt strap uh, very tight the nylon is very nice and thick couple of holes here if you want to lash this to some gear on the top overall very nice good quality sheath I do not like that the returning strap is velcro uh, but I'll live with it and we will pull the knife out real quick and we will look at the fire starter the fire starter is very snugly in there and as you can see we'll take a quick look at that it's got a nice textured uh, textured handle makes it very grippy uh, you can see it's a little I already uh, took the paint off it I tested this out a few times and it throws some pretty good sparks it's a good size good thickness not a bad little product and the retention in the uh, sheath is actually very good you can hear it snaps in at a very positive snap and it's very difficult to get it out it's no easy this is never ever ever going to fall out on you maybe if it wears down over time but you can hear it's got a pretty good retention snap to that so nice bonus there so that is a sheath let's get that out of the way and look at this knife this is not a bad little knife if you ask me i really like the shape the size uh the handle is very comfortable not a bad job camillus or the company that used to be camillus so let's take a look at the, spe the specific features of this knife this blade, of course, is about four and a half inches. It's that uh, Camillus like titanium carbonitride coating. Never had any experience with it, so I can't tell you how good or bad it is until I wail on this knife a little bit. It has the, uh, let's zoom out here so we can see this a little better. It has the uh, Les Shroud signature. It says uh, Camillus uh, carbonitride titanium on there. I'm sure that'll wear off pretty quick in use, so not too uh, concerned about that. There's a nice little indent in there for when you're using the uh, fire starter. We'll pull that out and show you. Whoop! We're a wreck here, guys, as usual. But uh, I tested this out. It does work, even though there is a coating. I'm not going to do it on the carpet because I don't want to light my house on fire. But that little uh, indent there is for striking sparks. It does work, and uh, it hasn't ruined the... Uh, finish on the blade yet so very neat handle is a uh, plastic 
Oh, I don't even can begin to tell you what material the handle is made out of. It's got a very good finger trail, finger trail there, and a bit of a nice thumb ramp, even though it could use a little, uh, maybe jimping on that or something, I don't know, but it's, just, it's a little slippery on the back for when you choke up. But the finger trail is very good. It's got a nice little bit of uh, squishiness to it, so it's got a little give. A um, little bit of texturing on the black section, which is helpful. Um, I could definitely see this being a little slippery in uh, wet conditions. Uh, just from holding it, but it, as for size-wise, it fits in my hand, my hand uh, perfect. I really like the fit, really good fit. It definitely, if you're going to be hacking with this sucker, it's a good fit. And you do have the hole for the lanyard, so you can uh, lash that right onto your hand so it doesn't go flying out of your hands and stab someone. The pommel is steel. It doesn't say what kind of steel. I'm assuming it's stainless steel like the blade. We'll get into that. Uh, the bottom of it is textured. I'm assuming for if you're doing any hammering or pounding. So that functionality is there and it appears to be very good. Um, I'm assuming the blade is one piece and attaches probably welded to the pommel and the uh, handle is most likely over molded as there are not any seams on it. So it's probably an over mold, plastic, whatever you want to, you know, blast, plastic, nylon, polypropylene, who knows what it is. It does not say on the box, so we will not know. All right, blade material. The blade material on this bad boy is 440 stainless. It does not specify which 440 stainless, so we are going to assume it's either A, B, or C. We don't really have, you know, there's a couple other options, but the 440s are not terrible steels as long as they are heat treated properly. Um, in fact, Buck has routinely used 420 steel for 30 years, and everybody says how good Buck steel is, but Buck also does a very good job heat treating. So don't put down the knife just because it's 440 stainless. Um, this is really going to have to go through some testing before I can see how good their heat treatment is and how good of an edge this puppy holds. Um, as for right now, we're going to zoom this all the way out and demonstrate, hopefully, with my hand, which you can see is, you know, quite a hairy beast I am. We're going to take some hair off. You can see it took a lot of hair off. It is very sharp out of the box. Okay, now I'm going to look like a goof all week, but <laughs> it'll, worry, it'll grow back in a day. I'm, I got monkey blood. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is uh, very sharp out of the box. The uh, Very heavy, too. This is a very heavyweight blade, so uh, don't think that this is uh, going to be a light use blade. This is definitely something very heavy. Um, very good, I think, for any kind of bushcrafter or uh, survival use. It's heavy enough. The pommel's good and heavy. It appears to be one-piece construction with a full tang. This looks like something you can really go out in the woods and pound on it. And hopefully next weekend, if I'm not too busy, guys, I am moving in the near future. I did uh, am buying a house, and I got a nice little uh, deal on kind of a uh, homestead going on here, which uh, borders about 1,500 acres of uh, state land. So I'm going to be really busy with that the next couple of weeks. So hopefully I'll have some time to get out in the woods and test this puppy out and do kind of an update on it. But it definitely, just from initial feel in my experience, will be a good hard use knife. Uh, it's just a matter of how well that blade is going to, how, how good the edge is going to stay. Uh, so once again, it's the Camillus SK Arctic, the Les Stroud edition. It's that carbon nitride titanium coating, 440 stainless steel. Drop point blade, ballistic nylon sheath, uh, steel pommel, and it also comes with a lifetime warranty on the box. It says all you have to do is send this puppy back to Camillus, and I believe the address they give is actually uh, in uh, Connecticut, which is kind of odd. Uh, must be their offices or whatever. Um, you can send it back, and it says that you can, I will read this to you actually, just so you can uh, hear the warranty. At Camillus, our legendary products are supported by an equally legendary promise. If your Camillus product fails to perform due to defects in material or workmanship, we will replace it regardless of age, normal wear, sharpening, industrial use, or abuse. Misuse or neglect is not covered. So, basically, as long as you use it for normal, uh, normal wear... Uh, let me read that again. 
If it fails, it fails before and due to the... Okay, so pretty much, if, if only it uh, fails before and due to defects in materials or workmanship, they'll replace it. They won't uh, replace it for normal wear and tear or misuse, abuse, industrial use, etc. So, if this thing falls apart on you, it does have a lifetime warranty. So, we will see how Camilla says about that. But overall, I think this is a very cool knife. The price point on this is $40. I do think it's a little overpriced for $40 because uh, for $5 more, you can get a uh, an Ontario SP1, which is a great carbon steel blade, a uh, few more inches of blade, good handle, you know. So, it is a bit overpriced, but... Overall, you know, if you're a collector of any of the uh, Survivor Man stuff or just a fan of the show, nice little item to have. You know, like I said, guys, I saw it. I wanted it. I like the shape of the blade. I think it'll be good for bushcraft and uh, maybe some uh, light survival. So I bought it, and we're going to test it out eventually and see how this thing is. But here's your uh, quick tabletop review.